if you're thinking about selling your house right now in any way, shape or form, this video is here to help you. Why pricing your home as a seller is so important right now, today. The market is shifting a little bit. If you haven't noticed, there's less showings, less offers, less activity. So the last thing that you wanna do as a seller in this type of market is overprice your home. In any market, I would say that it's not a great idea to overprice, but because we had two years of absolutely bonkers prices, it encourages people to list a little higher than maybe they normally would. But if we look at all the data, pricing at a respectable but lower level is always gonna end up getting you more. When you price too high for the comps, you end up getting less offers and lower amounts in general. It doesn't work that way for every property and some areas tend to price higher according uh, against other areas, but this is not the time to sit around on the market. If you need to sell, you definitely need to be targeting this strategy and you need to come in not low, but a little bit lower than you maybe would have hoped. And you have to hope that that encourages the opportunity to still get multiple offers, but it's a tough time to be priced just a little high because you're gonna get days on market, more days on market. Sometimes people think that something's wrong, Good buyers agents like myself and my team at Streamline Properties on Market, brokered by eXp Realty, we're going to counsel buyers that the market's shifting. It's no big deal if something sits maybe, you know, two weeks now. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong. It's just an opportunity for buyers to get in. But if you're a seller, you don't want buyers thinking they have an opportunity. You want them to have to fight to get it. And the only way they're going to fight to get it is if the house is priced appropriate enough for two or more people to want to make offers. It doesn't mean price excessively low. I don't like the eBay philosophy of pricing that low and just letting everybody scramble. It's much harder. You want to be at a price appropriate as a seller where if you get that, you got to be okay. Because it's weird when you only get one offer and that you or one offer comes in and then the seller is countering you higher than the list price. That's weird. You don't want to be the seller in that position. So you want to know that if you only get one offer, you're going to take that. So you have to be at that level, but you always want to be hoping for more. And that goes to the upkeep of your home, the marketing, the photos, the video, the aerials, everything, and the dynamic between your listing agent and the co-agents, which are your buyer's agents in the transaction. You want to make sure that they're on top of all that. So look, it's now July 19th, 2022. The market is in a shift status. It's becoming a little bit harder for sellers. It's still a complete seller's market, so don't freak out. But when you see the tides start to shift, that's not the time to stick with the old philosophy. Focus on pivoting a little bit, be a little bit more aggressive with a bit of a lower pricing strategy, and you're likely to have a much better time selling your home. We're putting homes on the market all the time. If you want to list with us, you can send an email to info at streamlined with a D dot properties. Anywhere in New Jersey, we have you covered. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, lots of parts of New York and Elko, Nevada. We're ready to go and we have the pricing strategy that will work for you. Even if you're working with your own agent, have this discussion with your own agent. What's the appropriate price for this? And is the market going to respond? Remember, the comps and the appraisal values for the last year might not be as relevant now. The market's a little bit softer, so be careful. Have a great day.